tired of spending a lot of damn money on these packs and not getting anything you wanted? Head on over to MrMuttCoin.com for the best, cheapest, fastest reliable service. Make sure you use code GS for 10% off your purchase. What is going on everybody? It's your boy Jess. Welcome back to another Madden 19 video. Hopefully you guys are doing fantastic. We are about to take a look at the three legends that were released today, which include... Why do I keep saying... Uh, LT, LT came to my mind. I wanted to say LT, and then I was going to say Lawrence Taylor. <laughs> uh, Ladanian Tomlinson, also, um, uh, Ty Law, and then Bobby Hill, I believe his name was. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look right now. They are all 93 overall, except the limited edition Hill, which is going for, uh, nine, uh, 94, not going for, he's going for, uh, he's 94 overall. So LT again was released today. And uh, I purchased a whole bunch of legend packs and didn't get anything. So, uh, but we did uh, end up putting together the Damian Tomlinson. So uh, we, he is on the squad already, powered up, and he looks phenomenal. Right, that picture looks goat like. And I went ahead with Never Stumble. I'm surprised that you cannot get the um, the route running specialist with him. Like I'm I'm flabbergasted. Because LT was a, such a dual threat in the passing game as well. And the fact that you cannot go on ahead and uh, add that to him is just wild to me. But nonetheless, you take a look. Let's just compare his stock card to a 94 overall Ricky Williams. Uh, he does have uh, the same speed, but you are able to power up Ladanian, getting him up to a 92 speed. Uh, if, you know, right here you see on the right, powered up, plus one, everything. Um... 91 elusiveness, which is just shy of Ricky Williams, but powered up is the equal. Uh, he does not have the trucking or break tackle that Ricky possesses or um, the carry, but he does have more agility and more acceleration, and he also has a very crisp, very crisp spin move at 91, the same as Ricky, and Ricky gets absolutely disgusting with the spins. Uh, his juke move is uh, one shy of Ricky. But again, if you do power the card up, you see right over here, you're going to get 92 spin, 93 stiff arm, 90 juke move. And uh, he equals the stiff arm of uh, Ricky. You see the spin move is uh, plus one. And then the juking is the same. Um, but we're still going to keep Ricky on the squad because of the... Uh, Elite route running ability, you know, that table route in any formation is just so glitchy, and I definitely need that. Uh, but I will have a dual headed monster with LT and Marshawn. I've, I've just been in love with this Marshawn, I cannot tell a lie. You know, he's been super, super good for me. And, um, but this LT, I could see also being a problem, I could see him being very, very, very good. And I'm really looking forward to getting some games in with him. Those will be out tomorrow. I'm gonna play them tonight, and uh, we'll have those guys for you tomorrow. Um, and then we have the cornerback, Ty Law, which I definitely recommend that, uh, by the way, that Tomlinson. It looks really, really, really good. Then we have this Ty Law right here, and uh, he's going a little under uh, 600K right now. And he does have 91 speed, so powered up, he's going to have 92. And this right here makes him one of the fastest cornerbacks in the game. Uh, you know, Dion obviously being the fastest, but 92 speed again just makes him super fast. You see, I have a ton of uh corners. I don't have Night Train Lane because again, Joke uh borrowed him for one of his games. But um, 92 speed powered up would be you know great, you know, very, very, very good speed, especially since a lot of offensive players are super fast. You got your Tyreek Hills, you got your Brandon Cooks, you got your uh, still Calvin Moss, Reed. Like, there's so many fast options on offense, not too many blazing fast speeds on defense so uh this right here you know is a nice pace of that but the only thing is that his zone coverage is at 92 powered up that goes to 93 and at coach madden uh you're able to add plus three uh with lockdown and again plus one from coach madden so you can get up to 97 and i feel like if i'm going to invest heavily in training and um and coins into a corner I'm going to need 99 zone or he's going to be super fast or just have like terrific height and like block shed and hit power like night train lane to make a factor in the run game. I don't feel like, um, you know, for me that I'm going to go on ahead and like Jalen Ramsey is only in the lineup now because night train isn't there, but like night train is in my squad, even though he doesn't have 99 zone. Uh, due to his, you know, hit power, his block shed, and his physicality. Like, Chris Harris Jr. costed a ton of coins, a ton, 
ton of training, but I feel like 99 zone, you know, is going to make a huge difference. I feel the same with Dion, him being able to have 99 zone, and I'm able to have that due to the 49ers chemistry. Um, and then uh, that's about it. You know, I run, you know, some nickel, uh, some dime, but if I do uh, dime, I'm going to put uh, uh, Richard Sherman there because he has 99 zone for me due to the 49ers chemistry. And uh, if that's something that you can't do for me, then... I don't really see me getting you uh, because I feel like Chris Harris Jr. is uh, going to be better due to his 99 zone coverage. I feel like Dion is going to be better due to 99 zone and faster. And if I had to choose between Sherman or Ty Law, you know, because Mike Sherman is able to get 99 zone, even though Law would be faster, you know, definitely a lot faster. He's able to hit 95 speed if you get Sprinter on him, tier three, as well as Coach Madden speed physical, uh, which is great. You know, that speed is really, really, really good. But, um, you know, 99 zones definitely are, you know, something you want to try to get if you can. If you can. But, you know, outside of me just being picky, <laughs> this corner looks really, really, really good. The speed, the jumping um, is, you know, looks all right. Uh, he's not, you know, as tall as uh, a, a Ramsey or a Sherman or Pat Peter or anything like that. But, um, you know, his, his zone coverage is good. It is good. Um, it's, you know, one of the best in the game. But, again, if I'm going to put 600K into a corner, considering I have a whole bunch of, I have so many cornerbacks. I have so many where, you know, uh, neither Diamond, Jalen Ramsey, or Xavier Rose are in my lineup right now. And I'm not going to sell them because when they get a new upgrade, they'll then be one of the best corners in the game. So I'm just patiently waiting for them to get a new card. But, again, if I'm going to, you know, um, invest heavily into a corner like that since i'm already stacked uh you're gonna need 99 zone uh you know for me since you know my team has already uh got really good corners but again i'm just being picky you know um i'm pretty sure if you just add them you know to your squad if you're not like oh well, i can't get him because he didn't have 99 zone. i'm sure he's gonna play fantastic and 95 speed uh just means that you know if you have them because i play a lot of cover too if you have them in a zone coverage or anything like that 95 speed if you're capable of getting that uh, which could be even more if it could be 96 if you got patriots chem um team chem uh 25 which is tier five i believe um he's gonna make a lot of plays just because he's gonna be quick you know he's gonna be fast he's gonna be very 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 good but for me i'm gonna pass you know because again we just got chris Harris jr dion is still a must for anybody's team in my opinion at this point imagine and all i run is four three or two cornerback set and if i'm in nickel or three three five then we have Night Train Blitzen, or if I'm in um, Nickel over G, then we're going to put uh, two safeties out there, and I'm still going to have only two corners. So right now, just Dion and Chris Harris Jr. is getting all my playing time. Um, and I don't feel like Ty Law is an upgrade from either Dion or uh, Chris Harris, but the card looks really, really, really good. And then we have this uh, limited edition card, which I cannot tell a lot. Looking from his card on uh the stream when they you know showed it it he didn't look all that great to me uh he's already 700k let's go ahead and let's take a look here let's do a, a comparison to uh kevin green so he has 84 speed which is good but again limited time you cannot add any ability uh to them uh physical i mean like you can't add sprinter to them at all so you can't increase that speed uh, you know, at all. Um, like if I wanted to, I don't have Sprinter on Kevin Green, but I could add plus two speed to him, uh, as well as Coach Madden. So I can get, and, um, as well as 49ers camp. So I could get Kevin Green up to 87 speed, you know, if, if I chose to. Um, but like you take a look at him compared to Vaughn, you know, and Vaughn is a 93. And, you know, Bell, did I say Hall? I meant Bell, excuse me, Bobby Bell. Uh, Bell is a 94 overall, and Vaughn Miller just, dominates at everything you know he's not a pass rusher as you can tell by the 76 finesse move 81 uh 76 power move excuse me 81 finesse move 85 block shed. so he's not like a ray lewis or like um just a block shedding moss like a jadavion Clowney or he's not a pass rusher like a von miller or uh, even kevin green uh his play rec is high at 93 um his speed is is good. It's not great, you know, uh, but it's it's good. But his zone coverage is, uh, you know, what sets him apart, you know. But um, again, I feel like if I'm going to, you know, have him out there, and again, I don't, um, you know, when I run my nickel or dime or you know four three whatever it is I'm running, 
Uh, you know, I put Deion Jones and Shazier out there because their zone coverages are very, very, very high. They're both over uh, 90. Uh, Bobby Bell is 83 for a left outside linebacker. That's definitely good. Like, it's definitely better than Von Miller, and it's better than Kevin Green. Like, the zone coverage is good, but it's not, like, overwhelming to the point where I feel like I need him on, on the squad. Um, six foot four, so the height is good. You know, uh, so if you want to user him, I feel like, you know, he's definitely a good user because, uh, you know, again, the, the six four height frame is great height. But I just don't see how this is a 94 overall card. I, I really don't. I would not choose uh, this card over Kevin Green just because Green has, you know, the ability to pass rush, has all right zone at 73. But, you know, higher block shed, I feel like he's going to play the run better. You know, uh, far more strength. Um, only one less speed, way more block shed, way more power move, finesse move. That's not even close. Uh, just I feel like he's just a better option at stopping the run over uh, Bobby Bell. And when it comes to speed, he's just not that much significant different. And the zone coverage is better, but it's not like he's like a oh my goodness zone coverage guy. It's not like he's got like, you know... 89 zone and then when you add lockdown you're like oh my goodness okay now we're talking you know we're adding you know, his zone coverage is you know going to be 87 which is good but you know uh i got Deion jones i got shazier to do my zone coverages and he's not you know better than those guys and then as a pass rusher it's not even close like it's it's not even i don't i don't i don't see him being that good of a of a card i really don't like i wouldn't have them you know if somebody's in a run heavy set i wouldn't have them out there you know i would rather put out uh because i have a ton of linebackers you have two left outside linebackers i have two right outside linebackers i have two middle linebackers i literally have six linebackers in my starting lineup and i mix and match depending on you know i usually put lt on the d line and if they're rushing a lot and I'm having trouble, I put LT back at the, the linebacker spot because his block shot is really high. I also have Jadavion. Then, then I'll put him on the D-line instead. And, um, you know, I mix and match. And I, I just wouldn't see where I would put uh, Bell. You know, I feel like I have other options that are that are better. But, you know, yeah, give or take, if you were to pull this card, I can see him being a great user because his height is, you know, phenomenal. Height's really, really, really good. I wonder if he can get... Um, if he can get pick specialist, then that would make him, you know, way more valuable to me. Because Tevin, um, let me see. I wonder if, because I'm able to get it on, uh, I don't know what the requirements are for a linebacker. And so far, he's the only linebacker. I've, Telvin, um, you know, has uh, pick specialist for me. And just the animations that he get when I use him, it's it's uncomparable to like anything else. You know, you're able to get pick specialists on Telvin, and I don't know, is it catching you need or jumping? I'm not sure. So he has 82 catching, and he's like literally the only linebacker I can get it on. I, if I can get pick specialists on all my linebackers, I would, uh, just because the animations you get with them are godlike. They're so good when you're going ahead and um and you. Uh, user them like it, it's just you know not even close but anyways nonetheless hopefully you guys you know are looking forward to some lt gameplay you know they'll be out later on today uh this is him fully maxed out with coach madden and uh I, I, we need to see the picture I mean, let me back on that picture and the powder baby blue jersey looks incredible does it not we're gonna go ahead and uh do another comparison i, I need my guy's picture to show up though There it is. That picture is clean. So 95 speed. I went ahead and put Sprinter on Franco Harris. I felt like I needed to. I felt like uh, I had to give that plus two speed, man, because he's super glitchy. Uh, but 95 speed Excel with Ladanian Tomlinson. Uh, 95 speed, 94 excel, excuse me, 95 carry, 95 elusiveness, and we have zone run on him. So that's adding to his spin move and also juke move and... Um, those are, you know, very high. You see a 93 juke move and a 95 spin move, as well as a 93 uh, stiff arm. His break tackles at 89. Uh, I feel like that's what sets him, uh, that's what sets Ricky apart from him. Again, LaDainian Thomason is really not needed if you have Ricky. Uh, Ricky is still, 
uh, arguably the best running back in the game. And especially with him being able to get route running specialists, is just completely sets him apart from any other running back in the game. If I had to choose just one, it's not even close. It's Ricky. It's Ricky, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't look back. You know, the ability to put him on a table route or an angle route at any given time in any formation that I want is super valuable. As well as him having a very high break tackle, a very, very, very good elusiveness, very good speed and excel and whatnot. Um, you know, Ricky, I still feel like is. You know, one of uh, the best running backs, if not the best, still in the game. And again, the ability to have the uh, the um, route uh, combo specialist on him is just, you know, phenomenal. But again, you know, we're going to try Ladanian. Um, he's probably going to be very Melvin Gordon-like. Melvin Gordon had 95 speed as well, but his spin was a little higher. But with Ladanian, we went with uh, Never Stumble. Um, I took a look at his, um, his abilities and i you know didn't really see anything that i really wanted i was really hoping for route running um the elite route specialist but unfortunately he couldn't get it it's either stiff arm specialist spin move specialist energized never stumble return man or juke move specialist so i feel like we'll go with never stumble uh never stumble i feel like is more of an opportunity for that to happen which is very helpful uh whenever you know you just trip up and then you just auto pick yourself up and um you're able to just continue you know on your uh you know one less thing i have to worry about but let me know in the comment section man, your thoughts and opinions on today's legends i think ty law looks very 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 good doesn't fit in my team but he looks phenomenal ladanian i had to get i mean i feel like him as a one-two punch with him and marshawn is going to be phenomenal and then i'll sneak in ricky williams whenever we're going to go ahead and need him on a table route um and if we don't like what we see then you know we can just sell him but for now we're going to give him an opportunity and then uh bobby bell not a fan of cannot tell a lot really 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 not a fan of but anyways let me know your thoughts and opinions down below see boys yes we're gonna go on and be signing out man again gameplay with that lt will be tomorrow be on the lookout for that peace